Hi guys, welcome to An Academy Clad and welcome to this our session with toppers where we interview clad toppers and understand from them how did they really prepare for clad in the last one month. Today we have two students of NLS who also managed to crack clad with great ranks. So we have with us Urja and we have Sanjana with us. Hi guys, so first let us introduce you not by your name but by your AIR. Please tell me your AIR in both clad as well as in eyelid. So in CLAT I got rank 10 and in ALET I got rank 19. In CLAT I got rank 7 and in ALET I got 27. So you guys see that there are two students both with great ranks at CLAT and also with great studies at NLS. So let me ask them a very pertinent question. What is more scary? NLS or CLAT? <laughs> <laughs> I think NLS is more scary for me. CLAT is more, was more scary for me. Okay, so we do not seem to have a clear agreement that what is more scary? Clat or after clat, you want to go where you want, that's it. What do you think? Is it more scary for you? Or when you get to the end of the analyst, that will be more scary. But first of all, we understand the reasons why does she feel that analyst is more scary and why does she feel that clat is more scary? Urja, why do you think? Why is analyst more scary? I just feel you can never be prepared for NLS. Hamesha kuch na kuch rahega when you feel ki ab nahi ho pa raha. Academics is getting a bit difficult for you to manage. CLAT ke liye you can always prepare. There's no problem with that. So that's hena disguise motivation, guys. Hena she has just motivated you by telling you ki CLAT ke liye to prepare ho sakta hai. NLS ke liye nahi ho sakta. Let's hear the other opinion. The thing is with uh, CLAT, there's always an uncertainty of like where you're going to land up and because you're nothing at that point. But like once you've achieved something in CLAT, you feel like, okay, something is done. So there's some weight off your mind. So you feel like you can relax a lot more that now that you're in college. So although it is very stressful, the academics and everything, it was more stressful during CLAT. Okay, guys. Ab, I have a very interesting way to determine ki akhir mein jada scary kya hai. I'll ask them a very objective question and I'll let you be the judge. We'll ask them the number of shows or the movies or the books that they have read during CLAT and while at NLS. And this will let you judge that college is scary or CLAT is scary. So tell me, how many movies, books, shows have you seen in CLAT? And besides that, during the NLS period, how many did you manage to do? During the time period, I watched a lot of movies and a lot of shows. I didn't read books, I read a lot of books. But I read a lot of movies and a lot of shows. Books didn't read books, but I read a lot of newspapers and everything. Yeah, in college, I've just watched two shows. Hey guys, CLAT 1, NLS 0. Let's hear about it. Honestly, same. CLAT, I did a lot of waste of time. I read so many books. I like watched so many movies. I went out a lot and all. I mean, NLS, you also waste time, but it's not through books, movies and all. How do you waste time then? मतलब ये कौन से बच्चे हैं यार ये जो पढ़ाई करके हम पढ़ लेते हैं वो गलती से गलत सब्जेक्ट पढ़ लेते हैं ना तो वो वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम हो जाता है हमने पॉलिटिकल साइंस की जगह हिस्ट्री पढ़ लिया था हाउ डू यू वेस्ट टाइम इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग दिस थिंग्स यू लिव ऑन योर ओन यू कैन डू व्हाटेवर we just hang out in the campus बहुत रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है so then don't let them fool you and it's not that dreamy a place that they make out make it out to be but here coming to the clad preparation for which all of you are interested and in this myth though and this maybe you are interested i know that okay so clad preparation ke baare mein chalte hain aur poochte hain ki what were the subjects that really were they were created and what was the subject they were troubled with so who do you who do you want to start let's start with sanjana this time sanjana you're from bangalore and you're studying at bangalore get a great great clad air but there must be subject which troubled you, right? Yeah. And what were those subjects? For me, it was GK. GK was like a monster that I didn't know what to do with in the beginning. So it was very difficult for me to like even get myself to start doing GK because there was so much. So like you don't know where to start and how to start doing it. For that, so definitely GK was a section I struggled with. Okay, and I believe she did not because she's smiling while she is talking about GK. So let's ask her opinion about the uh, current affairs. GK was my strongest section. I just loved like uh, reading so much and it was like I was so hungry for knowledge that I just kept reading and reading and learning. Okay, interesting. So one thing that we learned from these answers is no two toppers are the same. Even if you have one weak subject and a subject that you are great at, it does not really mean that you will end up at NLS or you will not end up at NLS. I'm sure a lot of you watching that 
आर अ फ्यू डेज अवे फ्रॉम योर क्लाइंट और आखिरी के मौके पे जब एक सब्जेक्ट वीक होता है तब हमको ये टेंशन बहुत होती है कि अगर ये सब्जेक्ट नहीं सुधरा क्लैक चला जाए ऐसा नहीं होता है है ना देर आर स्टूडेंट्स हु स्ट्रगल विद सब्जेक्ट दिस आर स्टूडेंट्स लाइक यू लुक एट देर फेसेस ना दे आर स्माइलिंग इन यू आर नॉट है ना आई मेड दैम स्माइल बिफोर द इंटरव्यू ओके सो दे वर ऑल्सो नॉट स्माइलिंग दैट मच तो गाइज दिज आर स्टूडेंट्स हु वर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर क्लैट हु आर स्कैड ऑफ क्लैट लेट मी आस्क दैम अबाउट देयर फीयर एंड दे वर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर क्लैट दे डिड यूज टू स्केयर दैट दैट दे यूज टू हैव दोज ड्रीम्स बिकॉज मुझे आप में से कई सारे लोग बताते हो कि कई रात आपको वो सपने आते हैं जिसमें आज ही क्लैट का पेपर है आप क्लैट के पेपर में पहुँचते हो कुछ भूल जाते हो शायद पेपर पूरा नहीं कर पाते हो कई सारी चीज़ें होती हैं आपके साथ क्या यही सपने इन लोगों को भी आए जिनके सपने सच तो नहीं हुए लेकिन वो वाले सपने सच हुए राइट सो लेट मी गो टू ऊर्जा ऊर्जा डिड यू यूज टू हैव दोज नाइट मेयर्स बिफोर क्लैट यार समटाइम्स डेफिनेटली लाइक आई आई वॉज वेरी स्केयर ऑफ क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग तो आई आई फेल्ड लाइक आई हैड ड्रीम्स एर आई थॉट दैट आई वुड नेवर क्लियर क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग गाइज आई एम होपिंग कि कम से कम आप मेरी क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग क्लासेस से इतनी खतरनाक पोजिशन में तो नहीं हो खैर लेट्स गो टू हर एंड डू यू रिमेंबर ड्रीमिंग सच nightmares ever yeah yeah for sure it wasn't specific section wise but it was generally like you take so many mocks some mocks are good some are bad and you start thinking what if clat is one of those bad mocks so that obviously keeps you up at night sometimes so those fears always exist okay guys so i i'm sure a lot of you watch mission 35 plus at 10:30 pm and you also know that every day when we finish mission at 11:30 pm we have some uh, we have certain traditions that we follow Uh, we let you ask question and I answer them for every day around टेन minutes. मैंने एक चीज़ नोटिस करी हर बार संडे को द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट आई गेट इंक्रीज इज सिग्निफिकेंटली एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दोज कंसर्न बैड मॉक्स कि मॉक में मार्क्स बिगड़ गए आज मॉक्स खराब हो गया क्लैट छोड़ दें क्या क्लैट नहीं हो पाएगा इस तरह के क्वेश्चन कई बार आते हैं क्या इस तरह के ख्याल टॉपर्स को भी आते थे डिड यू एवर आफ्टर योर मॉक स्कोर व नॉट दैट ग्रीट कभी तो हुआ होगा मॉक्स स्कोर अच्छे नहीं आए होंगे है ना हमेशा तो वन टेन के पार स्कोर नहीं किया ना no. नहीं है ना तो हाउ डिड यू यूज टू डील विद दैट डिड यू गेट स्केयर पहले यस डेफिनेटली आई वुड गेट वेरी स्केयर आई वो सो क्राई टू और थ्री टाइम्स आई डेंट गेट गुड स्कोर बट दिन यू जस्ट हैव टू एक्सेप्ट दैट समटाइम्स यू डोंट हैव द राइट सेट ऑफ माइंड वेल अपियरिंग फॉर द मॉक एंड यू जस्ट इम्प्रूव यू वर्क ऑन द वीकर सेक्शन एंड एंड दैट इज द ओनली वे आउट यू कॉन्ट डू एनीथिंग एल्स अबाउट इट Yeah, like even I, when you have a bad mock, I mean retrospectively, when you think about it, you can say, "Oh, it's just a mock." It's you write so many of those, but in that moment, that mock means everything to you. So, but then you just have to like look at it objectively and see it as one fifty more questions you learn from. That's all. And and then you write a mock like um th- like I used to write a lot of mocks, so I used to write one every three four days. So you write a mock almost immediately after. So like you soon forget about all the old mocks. Yes, guys. So this is one thing that I always tell you. Uh, if you've been watching me for some time now, that CLAT is a simple game. CLAT is a game where there are a certain number of mistakes that you can commit, and the best way to avoid committing those mistakes is to commit those mistakes, but not during CLAT, but before CLAT. अगर आपने mock में कोई गलती कर दी, बहुत कम chances हैं कि आप वही mistake CLAT में करोगे. तो आप how do you ensure your chances of maximum success in CLAT? बाई इंश्योरिंग कि आप ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा मॉक दे रहे हो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा गलतियाँ कर रहे हो और जिस मॉक में आपके हंड्रेड आए ना उसमें तो आपने शायद पचास ही गलती करी लेकिन जिस मॉक में आपके फिफ्टी आए उसमें देवा हंड्रेड मोर मिस्टेक्स दैट यू लर्न फ्रॉम हंड्रेड मोर चांसेज दैट यू कैट गॉट इट यू कुड हैव गॉटन इट रॉन्ग इन द क्लैट और वो गलती आप क्लैट में नहीं करोगे लेकिन इसके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट ये हो जाता है कि हम सिर्फ ना सिर्फ मॉक दें ना सिर्फ गलती करें बट गलती से सीखें भी और उसके लिए इम्पॉर्टेंट है मॉक एनालिसिस लेट्स गो टू देम एंड आस्क देम इफ दे दे यूज टू डू मॉक एनालिसिस एंड हाउ डिड दे यूज टू अप्रोच इट एस अ मॉक एनालिसिस इज इंडिसपेंसिबल अगर एनालिसिस नहीं किया तो दे इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ गिविंग द मॉक बिकॉज यू डोट अंडरस्टैंड वट मिस्टेक्स यू मेड सो आई हैड मेड अ मॉक एनालिसिस नोटबुक वेर आई वुड राइट डाउन ऑल द मिस्टेक्स दैट आई हैड मेड हाउ वॉज फीलिंग राइट बिफोर द मॉक एंड हाउ हाउ वॉज फीलिंग बिफोर लाइक राइट ड्यूरिंग द मॉक सो आई वॉज एनालाइज एवरीथिंग वेरी क्लोजली एंड वर्क ऑन दोज मिस्टेक्स 
same here. I used to do something very similar. I have like a log of all my marks and my sectional scores in each of those marks. And the number of questions I attempted got wrong, got right. And I used to try and attempt the questions I got wrong one more time and see if I get it right this time. And if I don't get it right that time either, then it would be a conceptual uh, like shortcoming. So I had to work on those concepts. So like that's what I would do. Guys, uh, yesterday <clears throat> something very interesting happened. uh these guys were in the office and these guys were having their trial run before the first session and i come up there were five of them sitting five students from nl i'm very excited always to meet students from nl because these are guys are my juniors and they are probably reaping some of the bad things that we have done at our time <laughs> <laughs> so ab there is this girl uh who looks at me with recognition and i'm like okay does she know me how come and she and i got a very pleasant surprise last day while uh, we were having food we were having dinner that she used to watch mission so mission 35 plus mein you wouldn't have seen her live because she used to she told me that uh, she used to keep uh, collect all the recording for 7 days and she used to revise it so let's just ask how did she used to do mission what was her mission experience and when did she go, get to know about mission 35 plus um so i got to know about mission 35 plus from telegram itself uh I was a couple of sessions I liked it the content was really good the topics servers servers covering were quite relevant so I thought that I would watch the videos uh, so every weekend I would sit and revise all the topics that so had covered and it was quite helpful uh thanks a lot but anyone who watches mission 35 plus does not do one mistake and that is calling me by <laughs> calling me as sir <laughs> <laughs> at least students from nls uh, do you guys call what do you call your senior by name or by, by name by name so why are you calling me sir then <laughs> <laughs> i never attended a live session na so i don't know that much okay yeah, yeah. all right and uh, coming to the good part of it nls and let <laughs> Hey guys, do you wonder why did they look into the, each other's eyes whenever I mention NLS and they are like, "Ki ye kya baat ho rahi hai, yar?" <laughs> But trust me, these are an actual NLS people. These guys study at NLS. You can check their website or oh, LinkedIn profile in a couple of your time. Okay, so let's talk about them at NLS. How they enjoying it? What do they do? How does an average day in the life of an NLS student look like? तो शुरुआत करेंगे हम संजना से और पूछेंगे कि वेन डर शी वेकअप हाउ इज एन एवरेज डे इन द लाइफ ऑफ एन एन स्टूडेंट एंड क्या क्या ट्रायल एंड ट्रिब्यूलेशन होती है एनएलएस लाइफ की ओके सो यू वेकअप लाइक वॉट एवर टाइम यू स्लीप विच इज़ यूजली पोस्ट थ्री एम यू वेकअप इन टाइम फॉर द एट फिफ्टी क्लासेस सो योर बेसिकली यू हैव टू सेक्रीफाइस स्लीप इन यूर इन कॉलेज देर इज़ नो अदर वे unless you sacrifice everything else for sleep which is also an option then uh, you attend classes you can sleep during some professors classes but you have to be selective about it um then after that you take a long nice afternoon nap because afternoons are very dead at nls no one comes out then in the night everyone comes out and like stays there like until really late like dip, and then one by one everyone goes back and then you see friday nights people are going out like dressed up and fancy and then you come back and try and do your readings which doesn't happen most of the time for the classes and all that's how a day looks like and your day uh i prefer waking up early in the morning so i sleep by around 12 or 1 max and i'm i'm in time for classes i pay attention to classes i never sleep during classes <laughs> Yeah so and then I come back I take a nap and I'm um, just doing the readings and the project work sometimes you go out and hang out in the campus sometimes you go out and hang out in the campus <laughs> so that's the idea of going out by the way <laughs> okay and uh, what is so I'm sure you were very excited before you were coming to join law school right so I remember it was back in May 2016 jab hamara result aaya tha so and i was in the batch group hai na to batch group mein hum log sab saath mein the and there were people ki we can't wait for law school to begin and once law school begin we can't wait it for to end hai na to that's something that happens so did you always dreamed of nls and when once you reached nls i'm sure that iconic library that you see how did you feel for the very first time um well for the library it's being reconstructed so we don't have access to it anymore <laughs> 
and yeah i was pretty excited to start college but uh, as you said now it started we can't wait for it to end it's quite hectic <laughs> Yeah, we value NLS, NLS a lot lesser now that we are actually in it. But at one point, it meant absolutely everything too. So is it a be careful what you wish for? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, let's uh, let's know more about them as a person. Let's talk about what do they do when they are not studying, when they are not much out flying at NLS. What do they do in life if there is life after it? So, what do you generally do? What are your hobbies? I play badminton. Oh, you play badminton. Yeah. um and i like reading books what all books do you read i like historic fiction mostly as a genre uh so like carl hoseni and all they like he's one of my favorite authors and i have a huge world war 2 collection of books so okay uh, so if any 2024 aspirants are watching it right now uh, both of us can recommend that uh reading books will significantly help you i'm not sure if it will help you if you are preparing for clat 2023 which is just a few days uh, from now so there's no not much time left for reading book but let's not miss this opportunity and let's ask her for some of the best book recommendation that she can give to clat aspirant but probably just starting to read who have started reading but some of the best books so i'm sure you will have to recommend at least two of the best books that you have read for people who are at a mature stage of reading who have started reading books and if there are people who are beginning to read if there are clat aspirants who are beginning to read books or develop their uh, taste in fiction what books would you recommend them Okay if you're beginning to read and you're not very comfortable with uh reading books then start with Dan Brown or uh, b- books like that and uh, any particular title of Dan Brown Angels and Demons um da- the Da Vinci Code then um if you like I have a passion for books and really like to read I would recommend A Thousand Splendid Sons The Book Thief and um like uh, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas books like that Okay, the boy in the striped pajamas. Who wrote it? Uh, I can't. I don't recall. Okay, okay. And what would you recommend students to? Um, for reading. For reading, for watching the great shows. Yeah, I'm not much into reading because Anilas has taken all my energy. Uh, so uh, I watch a lot of time spending. Uh, I lo- I I spend a lot of time watching TV shows uh, on Netflix. So I watched Big Bang Theory, Brooklyn Nine Nine, Eight Typical, and I watched a lot of shows. Yeah. Yeah, and another. बिग प्रॉब्लम दैट आई बिलीव अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैव एंड कई सारे बच्चों को ये लगता है कि जब वो लॉ स्कूल जाएंगे दे आर नॉट एबल टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश वेन आई वेंट टू लॉ स्कूल मे बी आप ही की तरह था मुझे इंग्लिश बोलना ज़्यादा नहीं आता था वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट वे वी कैन इम्प्रूव स्पीकिंग एबिलिटीज इज बाई स्टार्टिंग टू वॉच शोज स्टार्टिंग टू वॉच मूवीज एंड नॉट बींग एबल टू स्पीक इंग्लिश इज नॉट अ हैंडी कैप इन लॉ स्कूल दैट्स वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू लॉ स्कूल फॉर टू इम्प्रूव योर कम्युनिकेशन एबिलिटीज सो i'm sure uh, sanjana is from bangalore and she used to speak english a lot so she may not have faced that impediment but uh, urja is also from north india uh, did watching movies tv shows help the way you speak uh, help you speak better english or something that helped you in general law school studies yeah yeah definitely so since i'm from north india i'm not used to speaking in english a lot like even in campus when we talk to people from north india we use hindi only it's just na- it just comes off naturally Uh, for english uh, since i read a lot of books and um, and i watched a lot of shows so that helped me a lot you just learn the casual phrases that you have to use and you just you just know how to phrase sentences and everything apart from that since i used to read newspaper every day during class preparation so i read newspaper for 2 years so that really helped me which newspaper indian express the hindu i read both of them Oh, that's okay. That's not the ideal to look forward to. Okay, uh, she used to enjoy that, and uh, she it was also a part of her hobby. And last question, guys, I'll not keep you any further. है ना अन एकेडमी के लोग भी हमको गंदे लुक देने लग गए हमने बहुत देर से बातें कर ली हैं तो अब यहाँ पर uh, just one word question, quick question. You'll have to think about it. Okay, describe your law school experience in one word. I'll give you five seconds, and I'll start with you. Law school experience in one word. Challenging. Okay. But I like challenges, so. <laughs> okay, she likes law school in a way. Okay. <laughs> a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Okay, great guys. So it was nice, uh, great talking to both of you. It was fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, sure. और ये बोलने के पैसे नहीं दिए हमने इनको. All right, guys. So with this, uh, we come to the end of the interview. Let's clat it, and we will be seeing you for other sessions at An Academy. Do go to the description and find the links of all the classes that are happening at An Academy. 
you can take the paid courses but if you don't want to you can at least come and experience the free classes that we have at an academy like she did okay and there has there is a lot of things that you can experience at an academy let's clat it